what is going on guys and girls welcome to the channel in this video we are going to answer the question how to get a scrum master job without any experience i get this question a lot on my channel here and today we are going to address it for those of you that are looking for a scrum master job and that, or that are looking for consultation or that are working as a scrum master but don't know how to do a good job as a scrum master go in the link down below and set up a consultation with me and i can help you out with that now let's get started how to get a scrum master job without any experience <clears throat> the reality of the situation is that scrum master is a quasi management role if someone wants to become a captain of a football team nobody is going to pick a random person from the street and make them a captain of the football team they have to have practice they have to be playing in the team for a long time people have to know that they have skills that's when someone becomes a captain of the football team same thing applies here a scrum master is kind of a manager of the team a servant leader for the team and you don't become a servant leader without any experience that's the reality of the situation so in simple words uh, without any alternate techniques can you become a scrum master without any experience no you cannot unless you apply for a junior scrum master role or you know someone who hires you as an intern and then moves you up as a scrum master and that's one in a million situation it doesn't apply to hundreds and hundreds of people that can happen to one person from a million but not to hundreds and hundreds of people so how do you get a scrum master job without any experience is it impossible so how i have seen people do is people that come from the web designing field people that come from uh, development field they end up becoming scrum masters and they start uh, performing that role over time that's how i have seen a lot of people do it but on the other side there is one more technique that you can use uh, to become a scrum master and which is what we are going to talk about now so let's say for example my name is Anuj. Anuj, I am working as a senior barista at Starbucks. As a senior barista, my role involves managing my team that works under me in my shift, making sure their timetable is up to date, making sure there is no conflict within the team, making sure when the customer orders a drink, um, they get the right drink. And if they don't get the right drink, if there is any impediment while I'm giving them the drink and they get the wrong drink, then making sure that their problem is resolved either they get a refund or they get a new drink whatever that's my role as a senior barista right now what does a scrum master do as what a scrum master does is a scrum master facilitates different presentations so that a scrum empirical process is followed in the team he's a mentor he's a coach he or she's a mentor he or she's a coach he or she is a leader servant leader he or she makes sure there is no conflict in within the team he or she makes sure that the project goes smoothly he or she makes sure there is no impediments uh, that the team ha is facing he or she makes sure that uh, whatever the business wants from the team whatever the business wants is kind of done on time and the business expectations are met and the stakeholder expectations are met a kind of a bridge between the business and the team so a scrum master is sort of a manager between the team who is managing the team and is reporting to the senior management isn't that what i'm doing as a senior starbucks barista exactly that's what i'm saying so if you are working somewhere there are a lot of similarities between a scrum master role and your current role all you have to do is put them in parallel what does a scrum master do all day okay and what do I do all day at my job, at my current job, if you are not working as a Scrum Master? Okay. And put your experience in a way where it it's parallel to a Scrum Master experience. If you are if you are resolving conflict with a customer, if you, you gave him a wrong drink, I'm resolving conflicts for my team. Uh, they were facing impediments and this is what I did. I am facing, I'm resolving conflicts with my st business stakeholders. They were having issues that we are not producing M enough, our velocity is going down. This is how I resolved it. Uh, I was in constant communication with them, sent them emails, explained why it is happening. Uh, if you are, uh, let's say, uh, you know, doing pres uh, doing uh, doing a daily meeting at your Starbucks Parista job with your team when you come in, I'm doing daily stand-ups with my team and kind of understanding what they did yesterday, what are they working on today, and what are they going to do uh, What are, if there are any impediments they are facing. That is how you can mention your experience. And instead of mentioning yourself as a barista, you can change your role as a scrum master. It does not really matter because uh, you are doing the same responsibilities there that you are doing over here. Now, there is one catch. It is 
that as a scrum master, if you get hired by lying on your resume or by alternating facts or by saying different things, and you don't know what you're doing, I, people in IT are not stupid. You will be kicked out within the first three months. I have seen that happen to a lot of scrum masters, a lot of scrum masters, not one, a lot of scrum masters. So it is very important that you know what you are talking about during the interview and you know what you are doing on the job. And how do you do that? You take proper certifications. You take proper coaching. You go down in the link below, set up a consultation with me, and you learn from me how to do your job properly on a daily basis, how to become a great scrum master if you don't have any experience. That's how you do it. How do you, do, uh, how do you understand what a scrum master does all day? You have to do your own due diligence and you have to know the process to the T. You have to know what a scrum master does, whether he's dealing with the business, whether he's dealing with uh, the team, how he's doing conflict resolution, how he's doing facilitations. You have to sit in a room by yourself and conduct a facilitation. Uh, turn on Zoom and turn on the meeting and uh, conduct a stand up by yourself first and conduct a retrospective. How will you run a retrospective? If I ask you right now, how will, show me how you will run a retrospective. You have to be ready to show me how you run a retrospective uh, and then also, you have to know how to use Jira to the T. You have to know how to create boards. You have to know what a backlog is. You have to know how to refine a backlog if by yourself. You have to understand technology a little bit better. That is how you get a Scrum Master job and you stick as a, as a Scrum Master for a longer time. You can be a below average, a lower average Scrum Master. Of course, there, is a hundreds of, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube where people are just showing up looking good and they're telling you, oh, this, this, this is looking good and making you feel good. You can do that. But if you want to be a great Scrum Master, you have to know the process to the T. You have to give value to the business. If you are, if you are not giving value for the role you are hired, you will not feel good within yourself and the business, you will be a burden. You will be a liability instead of an asset. And how you become an asset, you have to know the role to the T. You have to understand and uh, kind of go deeper into what the responsibilities are. So how do you get a Scrum Master job without any experience? You have to be creative with the places you have worked. You have to kind of put it parallel to a Scrum Master roles and responsibilities and handle it that way. But once you get the job, you have to know what you are doing. And how do you know what you are doing? Create a sample Jira board. It's free for everyone, uh, up to five people. Create a Jira board. Create your own epic. Create your own story. Create your own, uh, let's say, create your own board. Whatever you do on a daily basis. What do you do on a daily basis? I get up, I go to work, I do this, I go to the gym, I come back, I go for a drive, go for a walk, this and that, and you put it there. Today, as a, as a, as a customer, today I'm going to do this. As a customer today, I'm going to do that and write it in proper format, have a proper acceptance criteria with every uh, thing you do on a daily basis on your Jira board to do in progress, done, and then do a daily stand-up for yourself every morning when you come to your table or whatever you do. Have a daily stand-up every morning at your Jira board. Have a proper epic. What's your five-year goal? What's your four-year goal? And learn Jira that way. Play around with Jira. Play around with Confluence and learn Confluence that way. Once you have that skill, conduct a sample daily stand-up every day. Conduct a sample retrospective for yourself. Conduct sample, conduct sample things like a sample sprint demo for yourself. Uh, have your family, your kids, your wife, your parents, whatever, have them sit with you and uh, do a sprint demo with them. Hey, this is what I did this week. Uh, what are your questions? What we can improve? Do it yourself first. And once you have that expertise, once you have that confidence, once you do it three or four times, you are a scrum master technically. You know, it's just a matter of before you get the job or not. In this life, you get what you deserve. And if you prove your, to yourself that you are a scrum master, you can do all these facilitations. You can communicate with the business, write a, write a good email to the business app for the sprint. You know, you can run the sprint smoothly without any impediments. You can uh, do all these things that provide a lot of value to the business. You are a scrum master within yourself. And it's just a matter of time before God rewards you with the, with the job. So that is how you become a scrum master without any experience. It's not going to fall from a tree. You have to be creative with your experience. You have to be creative with your resume. And if you need help with resume, go in the link down below, set up a consultation with me. And even if you don't know these skills and you, you're trying to learn and you're facing a hard time, don't worry. Go in the link down below, set up a consultation with me. Let me help you with your resume. Let me help you with your job. 
and let me help you um, to become a successful scrum master but you have to work yourself too i can hold your hand and show you the way uh, other people can hold your hand and show you the way but you have to have the skills yourself how you get the skills not by watching listening to all these youtube videos all day yes they will help you with the interview you can answer the questions better you will know the words you will know the terminologies but what about the actual work when you get to actually providing value to the business i have seen hundreds of scrum masters getting kicked out within the first three months and i don't want that to happen to you and if you want to avoid that to happen you have to have the practical skills and how do you get the practical skills play around with jira conduct uh, a fake ceremonies when you're sitting by yourself do a retrospective do a demo on miro board miro board is free to use uh, you you have to play around with things and kind of understand how things are done uh, talk to product owners talk to scrum masters on linkedin hey can i shadow you for a day and that ask them if they can ask their management uh, to shadow a fellow scrum master for a day or two and you can shadow them maybe even pay them some money or you can shadow me get get in the link down below and you know i can uh, take you uh, i can let you shadow me for a day or two and see how i work and what i do and how i do different things get and click on the link down below set up a consultation with me and i'll have i'll be happy to do that and that's how you get a scrum master job without any experience it's not easy but it's not impossible you have to be creative you have to think outside the box but i am 100 percent sure navid who was on this channel he did it without any experience uh, other person uh, which i'm not going to name a name he did it without any experience people that come on this channel most of them they are without any experience okay and they they can do it so you can do it too okay it's not impossible i have helped five or eight people now without any experience get a scrum master job making over six figures easily but the thing is when they go in they go in as killers they don't go in as uh, oh i don't know what i'm doing no they'd go in they are ready to provide value to the business and the business is blown away by how smart they are how how valuable they are to the business and even if uh, they make a little bit of mistakes or they don't have the business find out they don't have that much of experience they are providing so much value to the business no one will let them go that is the real way to become a great scrum master without any experience and that's how you do it now the second question that came on the channel is how is productivity measured in a scrum team so in a scrum team generally 90 percent of the times uh, and I say 90% of the time because 10% of the time I'm counting out for startups. In startups, generally productivity is measured in hours and number of stories, number of tasks and things like that because they don't, most of the startups, they're not that refined and they don't have the budget to make the process that refined. They just want to get push things out faster and faster. So how is productivity measured in a scrum team? So in a scrum team, Productivity is measured by story points. And but what I mean by story points is that every story that is put put into the sprint has story points assigned to it. And at the end of the sprint, Jira, you can go to Jira and you can go to a dashboard. Uh, you can create dashboards in Jira, which I'll show in the next video. You can create a dashboard in Jira and you can see how many story points were completed in this sprint and based on those story points you can understand the velocity of the team so let's say if um, a team is uh, completing 10 story points this sprint the expectation is that next sprint the story point should be 10 or 12 it cannot be less than it cannot be 7 it has to be 10 or 12 so unless there is a vacation or some uh, some important person in the team is going on a vacation things like that but generally the trend is that you have to keep taking the velocity higher and higher as the team matures and as the team grows that's the sign of a great scrum master so how is productivity measured in a scrum team in a scrum team productivity is measured with story points who assigns the story points the technical team with the product owner and the scrum master as the facilitator in which session are the uh, story points assigned uh, some teams do it in backlog most of the teams do it in backlog refinement but some teams do it in sprint planning as well it really depends on the team but the right answer is backlog refinement when are story points assigned to the uh, stories in backlog refinement and what is a backlog refinement a backlog refinement is a session where items from the backlog are prioritized whether it is high priority low priority uh, kind of broken down into user stories and kind of 
put it in the backlog for the next two sprints or three sprints, whatever, uh, however the team does it. That is what how productivity is measured in the sprint scrum team through story points. Now, the next question that came from Joseph is, how does a scrum master know productivity has gone down? So how a scrum master know that a productivity of the team has gone down is by story points. Let's say the team is doing eight story points this week. Next week, it's doing two story points. That's a red flag. Why is that happening? Let's say the team is doing 17 story points this week. Next week, the team is doing seven story points. What's going on? That's what the question you need to ask yourself as well as the team. Why are why has the productivity gone down so much? What's going on? What's the reason? What's the issue? And then sort that issue out and then make sure you communicate with the stakeholders, whoever your stakeholders are, or whoever your senior management is, make sure your agile coach, make sure you communicate with people all the time. That's your role as a scrum master. You, it, It's kind of a political role because you have to keep people happy, but that's your role as a scrum master. People should not be able to point finger at you and say, you're not doing a good job. If the velocity is going down and uh, Scrum Master sees that the velocity has gone down considerably, even if it's because it was a vacation and people are not working, you have to make a note of it and you have to communicate it with the business, with the stakeholder, with the client, with um, not with the client. I wouldn't say communicate this with the client because uh, that's a relationship. Uh, based uh, metric and you don't want to go there but with your agile coach with your manager uh, whoever you report to make sure you communicate with them that the productivity has gone down this week because we were um, out on a vacation or we had a day off and the holidays are coming up and this and that so you have to let the team and the people know that that's why the productivity has a gone has gone down uh, when the story points go down let's say you were completing 17 story points in the last sprint but this sprint you only did eight story points so the story points have gone down. So the productivity has gone down. That's how you know that the productivity is going down and you have to resolve it and make sure it doesn't happen next time. Uh, if it's because of internal conflict or single point of failure or different business reasons, make sure it does not happen next time. That's your role as a scrum master. So that is how uh, you do these things. Now, these are the questions that came on my channel uh, in the comments down below and you can leave a question i'll make sure that i'll answer it in the next video and um, hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this video as well and um, if you are looking for any help you're looking for resume prep you're looking for interview prep you're looking for questions regarding the interview you're you're not able to get a job you have been trying for a long time or you are you just got a job but you don't know what to do at the job go in the link down below set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and let me help you it will the it will be the best investment you will ever make and that is it for this session guys thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful one